Hey, welcome to my new studio setup. Today I am here to talk about Procreate. They've just rolled out their 5.3 beta and it's it's coming pretty soon. They're saying that they're gonna have the full version in the App Store, hopefully by the end of this year. Now, as you might expect, many of the new features are built around the hover abilities that are now part of the Apple Pencil on the new M2 iPad Pros. Right now, this functionality is limited to the latest and greatest iPad Pros, so you're not gonna be able to use it on older ones, even the semi-recent M1 iPads. The current version Procreate, the one that you have on your iPad right now, has some very, very basic hover functionality in it. But this 5.3 update is going to really supercharge that. Before you get started, there are two settings that you're going to want to toggle on if you want to get all of the features. First, let's go up to the wrench icon and then over to the preferences tab. Then we're going to toggle on our brush cursor. Then tap on gesture controls go to hover and toggle on the touch options. Instead of just seeing a cursor like you will in most art programs, you can see a full size color preview of your brush on hover. So you're gonna see the size of that brush, the texture of that brush, and your chosen color before you lay down any paint. Now some of this extends to the smudge tool and the eraser as well. So you're gonna be able to see the size, the shape, the texture there too. There's also a new setting and preferences called advanced cursor settings. So you can decide when you wanna see the cursor and also it has some accessibility options here. For example, you can show a higher contrast brush on hover, or you can just show its active color. Now, one thing that I've noticed by playing with these brushes is Procreate has tweaked some of those settings on a brush by brush basis. And you can actually go into the brush studio and change any brush you want to perform however you want on hover. If you toggle on that touch setting and gesture controls that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can now also change your brush size while hovering. All you have to do is hover, then pinch in and out to increase or decrease the size of your brush. So you can see what you're doing before you lay anything down. You can also change the opacity of your brush here as well by sliding one finger up and down your canvas. Another cool change with hover are some adjustments to color fill. You can hover over your color swatch in the upper corner and then double tap on your Apple Pencil. That'll bring up your color drop options and then you can just start tapping away to fill any whole area with color. Now some of this functionality will work without hover. For example, if you drag your color into place and then tap on the color fill text along the top of your screen, you could do the same thing on older iPads. You want an update to the freehand selection tool? Of course you do, because it's here. Using hover, you can see where your selection is going before you tap on your canvas. Cool. They've also sprinkled in some hover features here and there just for funsies. For example, in the gallery, you can make an image bigger just by hovering over it with the pencil. But what's kind of cool is if you have an animation in the gallery, when you hover over it, it will play that animation on a loop. So those are the big things. They've added some other things like they've made files save faster and they've depreciated a couple of the older styluses out there. I believe the Logitech Cran is still fully supported. So those are the big things. There's no sponsor for today's video, but if you want to catch up on Procreate, learn more. I have some Procreate courses, discounts down below, or if you're just new to digital art and wanna learn some of the ins and outs, I have a link to my intro to digital art course down below. Nice fun thing to do on your holiday break. Anyway, thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you probably next week. <laughs>